yeah, that's on the internet. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. See, I was planning on doing a more like lighthearted video today, but then I remembered that Zoe Laverne exists. So that plan went out the window. We talked about Zoe Laverne a little while ago, but if you're new here and you don't know who Zoe Laverne is, click out of the video immediately. Save yourself. I lost my innocence a while ago, but you can still be saved. But if you hate yourself and you wish to stay, then I'll give you a quick recap of who she is. This is Zoe Laverne. She's a 19 year old TikTok star with 17 million followers, unfortunately. She was recently exposed for kissing one of her 13 year old fans. Gross. She admitted what happened between the two of them, but she made excuses and she basically just dodged all accountability. It just happened we both were in a dark place when we first were, and friends do that. They catch feelings for each other. That's not a bad thing. Yes, the, the age is a bad thing. Yes, it's wrong. Yes, it's not good. And we both realized that and we stopped because we didn't want to get this out of proportion. We didn't want this to happen. We knew that it was wrong and we wanted to stop and we did. But because, like I said, it got brought to social media, people are making it such a big issue. I'm not a pedophile. I'm not a pedophile. And I will continue to say that. I don't care what anybody has to say. I'm not a pedophile. And she was apparently seen in several of her TikToks wearing this bracelet. Which Connor, the boy that she groomed, has the same one apparently. The bracelet is something that's often worn by long distance couples. I think like you touch it and it vibrates and then once yours vibrates, it vibrates for the other person or something. Like their bracelet vibrates so they know that, that you're like thinking of them or whatever. I don't know, I'm single, don't quote me on that. But anyways, she also has this picture in her phone case. So yeah, she still sucks, but that's not entirely the problem here. Today we are going to be discussing Zoe Laverne's many fan accounts. Her too many fan accounts. I mean, her even having one fan account still is too much, but there's like an abundance of them. People, mostly young children, who still support her even knowing what she did. She still has 17 million people that idolize her. Granted, some of them might be following her just so they can comment on her videos because she has comments limited. But nevertheless, she still has a platform. So without further ado, let's... Ugh. First of all, Zonuts, Sunrays, Dixie Sticks? Forget about her bad table manners, I'm canceling Dixie right now just because of that. Why didn't she call them like Dixie Cups or something? I mean that'd still be kind of cringy, but like, better than Dixie Sticks. At least that would actually kind of make sense. I know what a Dixie Cup is, but I don't know what the heck a Dixie Stick is. Also, what do you mean by younger Zonuts? How young does this fan base get? I can't imagine that any of her supporters are over the age of like 13. And that's pretty dang young. I guess it could be like eight or something. I really hate the idea that eight year olds are on the internet. I mean, I know that like when I was eight, I was on the internet, but I really shouldn't have been. <laughs> Mostly because I was like completely unsupervised. Like my parents did not even try to like limit what I could look at. My parents didn't have a clue what I was doing and I saw things on accident. Am traumatized. And I can't imagine that these kids have much supervision either. I mean, their parents probably don't know that their elementary age child is literally standing a pedophile. Moral of the story, please monitor your children's like social media when they're young. My parents probably should have. This is that one song that's like, this is a part of me that you're never gonna ever take away from me or whatever. Honey, supporting a pedophile on the internet is not cute and quirky. Your cousin knows what they're talking about. I'm assuming this is a very young child because I can't imagine anybody with like a developed brain hearing that Zoe Laverne groomed and molested an underage boy and then being like, who cares? Why do they even stand her in the first place though? The only other thing I know her from was that one viral video where she was like having a mental breakdown on the, on the floor because Charlie was passing her and followers. I'm literally crying about this for like an hour because it's just so like, Pathetic that like she just comes in and like almost passes like she's so close to passing me and everybody's reminding me that she's gonna pass me and I just want to prove this bitch that I am better than her because I am Zoe fucking Laverne and I am literally the star of TikTok. 
Yeah, what an icon. This is just somebody repeating, I don't give a frick, I don't give a frick, over and over again. Ah uh, yes, because calling somebody out for being a literal pedophile is just hate. Gosh, why are you judging me for taking advantage of an underage boy? What a hater. Just live and let live, bro. Holding people accountable for their actions is not hate. Perhaps if Zoe did something a long time ago and she apologized for it and genuinely showed growth, then somebody who kept bringing it up would just be a hater. But this is different. She didn't just make a little mistake or, you know, do something ignorant. She groomed and molested a 13-year-old boy. That's not just a little mistake people make. Not unless you're a pedophile. Normal people are not attracted to 7th graders. And to be honest, that boy looks even younger than that, honestly. And even though I don't really think that somebody can just, you know, come back from something like this, she showed repeatedly that she didn't even care. She calls people that criticize her haters, and is obviously just unbothered by the situation. This isn't cancel culture. This is us being concerned because there's a pedophile on the internet who has a very large audience of mostly children. There's a difference. How is Zoe Laverne the only reason you're alive? I understand that certain influencers can really inspire you or have a large impact on your life, especially when you're this young. But I've never understood the concept of like having an influencer be the only reason that you're alive. People do form unhealthy attachments to people and, you know, rely on people too much. But it's usually with somebody that you know, like your best friend or a family member or a teacher or somebody that, you know, actually communicates with you. Influencers can inspire you and you can look up to them, but I can't imagine like having that unhealthy attachment to somebody that you've never even met before. I don't know, maybe that's just me. Also, I'm sure that when Ariana said that, she really meant just hate. Unnecessary mean comments towards someone. I'm sure she would also hate Zoe if she knew what she did. Okay, so that was like their attempt at being deep and whatnot. Like r slash I'm 14, this is deep, like that subreddit. But reading that was hilarious. Zoe not... Zoe has like a slur, I guess? Charlie, not ungrateful. Yeah, I agree with that one from what I've seen so far. Addison, not whale. Who the heck called Addison Ray a whale? That's actually like really rude. Ouch. Avani, not clown girl. No, Avani is not clown girl. That's me. Girl's coming over here trying to steal my job. I'm gonna be honest, I have no idea who Avani is. I'm too old for this crap. Dixie, not Charlie's sister. Hey, I spent like all my elementary years being referred to as like my sister's sister. People didn't even know my name. It just happens, get used to it. But now since people think I look older for some reason, they think we're twins. Zonut, not toxic or racist. Bro, you can't write deep and meaningful sentences and then put the word Zona in it. Also, is she racist too? Toxic, extremely. But is she racist as well? She's just a whole package, isn't she? Wouldn't surprise me. Duncan, not <laughs> Dumkin. <laughs> is this what kids think for, like oppression is? Being called a Dumkin or a clown girl? That's discrimination. One like equals one prayer for the Dumkins. Zoe's account. She knows what I think about. What I think about. One love, two mouths. One love, one house. No shirt, no blouse. Just us, you find out. Nothing I wouldn't want to tell you about. Do not disrespect sweater weather like that. Something that I'm noticing that's a bit odd is that people that follow Zoe seem to also be Charlie fans. Like a lot of the people that follow Zoe are just Charlie fan pages who also happen to like Zoe. I think that after Zoe had like a meltdown about Charlie passing her and followers, that like all of her followers would, you know, suddenly like be anti-Charlie or something. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't think Charlie did anything wrong. Being famous isn't a crime and Zoe's obviously just a spoiled brat. But I wouldn't count on her followers realizing that. You know, since they're not even old enough to realize that a relationship between a 19-year-old and a 13-year-old is wrong. If they don't have a problem with her being a literal pedophile, they probably don't have a problem with her being a spoiled brat either. If you don't support someone's actions, then what the heck are you supporting? Are you just saying that you find her attractive or something? Because I mean, there are some really toxic like places on Tumblr where there are people that are like, oh my gosh, that's serial killer over there. Just smoking hot, Ted Bundy. Yes. You know, there are people on the internet that will stand terrible people just because they're attractive. 
Not saying that Ted Bundy is attractive, by the way. N no. No matter how much they say, like, I don't support his actions, it doesn't really make a difference because it's really disgusting to stand somebody who raped and murdered people just because you think they're hot. It's literally what he's known for. I don't understand how you could say that you support Zoe Laverne, but you don't support the fact that she's a pedophile. Like, what are you supporting then? It makes no sense. First of all, you're new to her fan base? How does that work? You just found out that she like groomed and molested a 13 year old boy and you thought, ah oh, yes, now's a great time to join her fan base. Also how they say like, I'm annoying AF. This is probably the type of girl who calls herself a crackhead after going on a midnight run to McDonald's. Oh my God, you can't take us anywhere. <laughs> and Zoe is your wife? Honey, if you're old enough to get married, you're not her type. I do not know the lyrics to this, but it's that one, like, I might just go psycho or whatever song. Who was that guy at the end? Did they just photoshopped Charlie in front of some random dude? I mean, it was photoshopped, obviously. But I love how they just covered that guy up with Charlie. They're like, yeah, he's not important. Also, I feel really bad for Charlie right now. She's 16, so obviously she's old enough to know that what Zoe did was wrong. Now she just has a lot of people that love Zoe and her and make edits of them together. I don't think she wants to be associated with that. So this audio says, Zoe, please kidnap me. Zoe, I love you. That was disturbing. And their bio says, Zoe is innocent. There's not really an argument for that anymore. I mean, at first Zoe lied about it and said that she knows better and she's 19 and she would never do that to a 13 year old boy because that's wrong. But then the video leaked of her kissing him and she was like, ah, fine. There's literally no way to say she's innocent now. So that is all I'm gonna be putting you guys through today. I'm not trying to hate on these kids or blame them really. They're really young, I don't expect them to understand what she did was wrong. Maybe I would have been the same way when I was 13, I don't know. I was pretty stupid. I'm just concerned for them because what if they meet an older person who is a predator and they don't realize that what's happening to them is wrong because you know, they, it's normalized to them. They've seen somebody that they look up to and love do the exact same thing, so they just think it's normal. She's not setting a good example. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you guys next time. Stay safe, y'all.